and I'm ready mentally, physically, and emotionally. And I'm here to stay. I'm not worried about the world anymore. I've seen the world be my friend. I've seen the world turn on me. Sadly, Shakari Richardson was only spitting facts when she made this statement. The world was too quick to turn their backs on her with one or two missteps. This season, Shakari proved to everyone that she's not back. Instead, she was better. Nevertheless, it's a bit strange to say that 2023 was a breakout year for 23-year-old U.S. sprinter Shakari Richardson, since she is an athlete who has been rewriting the record book since she was a teen. For one, she set the fastest collegiate 100-meter mark in history at age 19, with a time of 10.75 seconds, which also made her the ninth fastest woman ever. Still, this was the year that Richardson announced herself to the world, not as a contender, but arguably as the number one female sprinter on the planet today. In fact, Shakari's win in the 100 meter at the World Athletics Championships flew in the face of so much recent history that the Times used the word shock in the headline of their race report. I would say never give up. Never allow media, never allow outsiders, never allow anything but yourself and your faith to define who you are. Notably, it's the same word The Guardian chose just 14 months earlier when the athlete was knocked out of the first round of the 2022 U.S. trials to scupper her chances of competing in a world championships on her home soil. And the record-breaking win in the 100-meter isn't the only thing she added to her long list of remarkable accolades this season. After the world championships, Shakari went home with not one, not two, but three medals. In addition to the gold medal in the 100 meter race by clocking 10.65 seconds, Shakari also achieved a bronze medal in the 200 meter race, finishing at 21.92 seconds, and another gold medal in the women's 4x100 meter relay. All the heavy hitters were going to bring their A game, so it helped me pull out my best A game as well. Richardson later shared, I'm next to living legends. It feels remarkable. Looking back at her run at the World Championships, Shakari Richardson recently shared her thoughts in a series of Instagram stories. In the first story, Shakari wrote, To be the underdog isn't the worst, but to give up isn't living up to your worth. Then posted in another story, which isn't based off the flesh, but what your soul feels for when you're alone and you know what's next. It is obvious to everyone that she has reinvented herself on the track in ways some thought unthinkable. Her now famous statement, I'm not back, I'm better, has become a symbol of her performances throughout this breakout year, where she has confounded expectations by becoming arguably the biggest star in U.S. athletics today. Simply put, Shakari Richardson now stands on top of the world as the USA's first women's 100-meter world champion since the late Tori Bowie in 2017, and only the second non-Jamaican since Carmelita Jeter in 2011. Through it all, Shakari learned to stop caring about what critics had to say, and there were plenty of them. In fact, after qualifying for the 100-meter semifinals with the fastest time at the 2023 World Athletics Championships, Shakari said she isn't concerned with proving herself to her critics. I'm not worried about the world anymore. I've seen the world be my friend. I've seen the world turn on me. At the end of the day, I've always been with me. God has always been with me. So being on this scale now, it's my time, she said. It's always been my time, but now it's my time to actually do it for myself and the people that felt like me and the people that look like me and the people that know the truth about themselves as well. I represent those people. Although the world will remember Richardson's stunning gold medal run in Budapest, the real secret to her success this year has been consistency and development. Of the eighth fastest 100 meter times of 2023, Richardson owns five with the earliest of those coming back in May when she ran 10.76, with the outdoor season having just begun. On that note, Shikari made sure that she opened and closed the season with a bang. In her final race of the track and field season, Shikari Richardson flaunted her natural hair as she competed in the 2023 Diamond League final in Eugene, Oregon. After she finished the women's 100-meter competition in fourth place at 10.80 seconds, the 23-year-old Texas native spoke to NBC Olympics and Paralympics about why she chose to rock her curly coils loud and proud. 
I will say, my coach, I told him that if I go 10.06, I'll wear my natural hair. So when I became the world champion and set a championship record, I ran a 10.65. So I had to pull out the natural, the track and field star said as she shook her curly afro from side to side. Even after finishing fourth at the Prefontaine Classic at Hayward Field in Eugene, Richardson bounced through the media mixed zone with a big smile, talking about how she's fallen back in love with my sport over the last year. For context, Shikari came home last in the 2022 Prefontaine Classic. Still, even with her disappointment, Richardson showed just how much the sport means to her as she defiantly defended her own love for athletics and ability to perform. I'm a warrior, she said after the race. My passion will always come out for my love, for what it is I put my blood, sweat, tears, and sacrifice into. This last month was a journey for me, but that's no excuse because at the end of the day, I'm an athlete and today was the day, but it's not every day. It's not the end of the world, and if you choose to count me out, the joke's on you. With this, it's pretty evident that Shikari's love for the sport is deep-rooted. For this reason, many aspire to follow her steps. In fact, just a couple of days ago, she returned home to Dallas to motivate high school students and athletics fans. She was one of the star guests at DeSoto High School in Dallas alongside fellow world champion Noah Lyles, inspiring young track and field enthusiasts. My grandmother told me, whatever you're going to do, put your best foot into, the best self into it, said the 23-year-old who got her sprinting start in Dallas. It is known to all that Shakari Richardson was raised by her grandmother and her aunt, Betty Harp. Growing up, she would go on to win several state medals at track and field events in Texas. Richardson cherishes her high school track days, and her bond with her high school coach, Lauren Cross, remains strong to this day. As a student at nearby Carter High School, she raced and won state medals at events in Texas. Always take a risk. When you take a risk, you don't know what you can get. But if you don't take risks, you are going to have regrets. Without them, that would be no me. Without my grandmother, that would be no Shakari Richardson. Needless to say, Richardson has very fond memories of her high school track career and still has a strong connection to her high school coach, Lauren Cross. The event was held to mark the launch of a health and wellness event called Dream Big at the Dallas High School. Richardson was joined by three-time world gold medalist Lyles, who also had some inspiring messages for the youngsters. No matter what they are able to grab, I want them to know that everybody is gifted with something, Lyles said. It's just learning how to use it. It doesn't have to be the same way as the person next to you. And speaking of Noah Lyles, watch this to see how he dominated the track this season too.